everyone, welcome to my Lightroom series where I'll be covering how I've refined my workflow over the last six years. I'll cover import to export and everything in between. Let's get started. video I want to show you how to add a watermark to your images when you export from Lightroom. Let's hop over to Lightroom and get started. Alright, now we're over into Lightroom here. I've got my photo all ready to go and I'm ready to export it. So first thing you want to do is come up to Lightroom Classic, the pull down menu, and you're going to go to Edit Watermarks here. And you've got a couple options. You've got the text and you've got a graphic. So let's start with the text and then we'll hop over to the graphic. So you can see it's got a default of copyright uh, Casey. So I'm going to just go ahead and add to this and put Casey Grimley Photography. And I'm just going to take off the copyright. I can add it back in if I want to. You can also create, uh, I know some people, I've seen some people do uh, their Instagram handle instead of, uh, you know, their uh, business name or whatever um, but it's all up to you so you can put that in here you're gonna come and you're gonna choose your font and I'm gonna go with Helvetica Nuia Nua Nui I don't know how you say that and ultra light here and I'm gonna dial down the opacity a little bit here you can see how that affects that um, I like my opacity around 60 I think 60 or 70 we'll go with that so it's not too distracting but that's just me I'm gonna do a 10% size and I'm gonna move it to the lower right corner now you can change the color of it um, you can go crazy and do something red or black um, I typically do white just because it's um, probably the most universal uh, opposing color unless you're shooting of course like in snow or something where it's white I would create a black one as well um, you can play around with the offset of that if you want to both horizontal and vertical um, you've got your shadow here um, where you can play around with that I'm gonna actually bring that in just a little bit here maybe about one and you can also rotate this if you want to um, just flip that around so that's how you do that now before you come up to hit save here you're going to come up to this box where it says custom you're going to do save setting save current settings as a new preset and you call this uh, you know Casey Grimley lower right white something like that or you can call it you know uh, watermark one or whatever you come up with I'm going to create that and there you go so so then when you have, uh, you then have that option to uh, select that from your, uh, from your pull down here. So the other way to do it is to import a graphic. So let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm gonna get, hit graphic here and I'm gonna go ahead and locate that. And I'm gonna go to my photography. Where is that guy? Photography docs design photo logo and if you're going to do a logo an image file make sure it's saved as a PNG file that's very important because uh, especially if you have transparency so um, I'm going to go ahead and do this white low res crop hit choose and now you can see now my logo is there so again I can move the anchor point to this around I can rotate it if I need to or want to and so on you can change the size and really blow that up or slow that or size that down however you want to do it there so I think I had it at about 10 opacity at 60 percent and that's good again you come over here hit save current settings as a new preset and you would change give it a name so I already have this one saved and so I'm good to go hit save and you have a watermark ready for you to save off so what I'm going to do is export this photo now so command shift E or you can come up to file export 
and I'm going to go ahead and export to hard drive and in my settings here I'm going to come down to watermarking and you can see I have the list of options. I'm going to do my photo logo white which is the one I use for just about everything unless it's again I've got a photo logo black for those ones that are a super white or light foreground. So there we go. I hit export. That saves it off. Bob's your uncle. There you go. You've got a watermark on your photo. Now I know this is a a bit of a touchy subject with some photographers. Uh, you know, it's probably not going to protect you a whole lot from people stealing your images. They can easily crop them out, especially if they're in the lower corners. Or there's even software out there that will um, Photoshop out or remove watermark. So. I do it personally for brand stuff. I don't deliver clients' photos with the watermark on them. So if they want to post it to Instagram or Facebook, and if they want to crop or whatever, it's not cropping out the watermark. I think that looks tackier than having no watermark at all. So there you go. That's that's how you add a watermark in Lightroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Till next time. Till next time, bye.